One of the cool things about Boston Comic Con is you get the comic artists, you get the celebrities, and you get sometimes really original artwork. And we're here with B. Douglas, who does, let me hold this up for you, Monarch Monkey, to talk about the way he does the comic, which I guess is an old uh, form of, of collage. Yeah, it's um, it's it's cut paper. Um, you see a lot of it in children's books, um, but what I've tried to do is really push it as far as I could. Um, you know, where most collages tend to be relatively simple shapes, um, I try to make it look as much like a painting or a drawing. Um, as I possibly can. Um, so when you see it from afar, you just think, oh, it's a drawing or a painting, but when you s come up close to it, there's like this, m this dim dimensionality It's, it's to very it. deceptive in, in that it looks very much like a painting from like five, ten feet away. Yeah. And then the closer you get, the more you realize this is actually more than the sum of its parts. Yes. It's, uh, I, I came up with that because um, Picasso did a, s a series of paintings where he made, he painted a, uh, paintings to look like collages that were being done at the time. Mm -hmm. So there's sort of trickery. So I would decide to just turn it around and get the collages. Yeah, to look like yeah, paintings. exactly. Exactly. Beautiful. Um, how long have you been doing it? Uh, I've been doing it for about four years now. Um, um, they, they take a while to do. You, well, yeah. Um, <laughs> so I mean, I'm looking at this one that she just took a, uh, a close-up of, and the detail in it is absolutely amazing. Thank you. Uh, they start off as um, paint samples. So I'll go into Home Depot and just grab a deck of uh, <laughs> paint samples and bring them home and then uh, just go to town on it. So... Um, so what, where did you get the idea four years ago to, to, to make this as an art form? Well, I went to... As your art form. Well, when I went to art school, um, I was just going to do regular illustration like everybody else, uh, you know, drawing or painting. And uh, we had a experimental illustration class. And one of the funny things is I never really liked collage. I always thought it was kind of cheating. Because I always thought of it like, you take some lips from this paint from this picture and put it on mm -hmm. next to some eyes, so you create this other image, but from other images. But we had this assignment where we just had to take colored paper and make three faces. And um, I did those three faces, and the teacher took a look at them and said, all right, that's, I know you're gonna have other assignments coming up this year, but you just, Whatever I tell the rest of the class to do, you just do that assignment, but in that style. And wow. you just keep pushing it. So and they knew then yeah, 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 that yeah, that's yeah. where you wanted to be. Yeah. Even yeah. before you did. Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, once I started working in it, then I realized, oh, you know, it's my idea of what collage is, is not necessarily what uh, it can be. So um, I decided, you know, so I pushed it. Um, and that's the thing. you got to keep pushing it. Like, I've never... There's always more you can do yeah. with the medium. The cool thing about Boston Comic Con is you got the regular illustrators. Yeah. You've got the terrific uh, illustrators. And then every once in a while you stumble across something very different, a very it's cool variant of the genre. Thanks yeah. for joining oh, us. Oh, no problem. Thank you. All righty.